morning, you guys. Today is going to be a little bit different of a video, obviously. We had some big news announced from Electra Mechanica that we should address. Uh, the discontinuation of the solo was announced about two weeks ago. I know I'm a, a bit slow on the draw, but I needed time to grieve, obviously. Process my thoughts and gather some information. I wanted to get some uh, important information. I had some questions for EM. You probably have similar questions. The main concern, I think, of all of the solo owners were, hey, are we still going to be able to be serviced? Are you guys still going to be here to lend a helping hand? And the answer was yes. My service rider was extremely helpful when I called in uh, to just ask what was going on. He, you know, he referred me to the article that the CEO, Susan Doherty, officially released that I will link down below for you. And he assured me that service will be provided for all of us. We are not gonna be pushed to the wayside. We are not going to be forgotten. One more concern I had was I was curious how long they were going to support the solo app you know, where you can check the percentage, where it's charging, where it's parked, so on and so forth. And I, I haven't received a response yet. So I don't know how promising that is. It is the solo app with the discontinuation of the solo. I don't know how long we can expect to see the solo app in existence for. So I guess we'll just, it's working right now. So we'll just enjoy it while we have it. Obviously, there is a recall that still hasn't been solved, um, but they are still working on it, regardless of discontinuing the solo or not. They will not be able to sell the remaining 800 stock of their solo until they fix said recall. But with the concern as far as if you own a solo and is Electromechanica going to continue to provide you service, the answer is yes, and that's what I've been assured and every, every other solo owner I've asked has been reassured. I'm trying to get a hold of the other solo owners so I can maybe get their feelings on this whole situation and see maybe what their concerns are. Now, instead of being trendsetters with a three-wheeled vehicle and having that whole gimmick to go off of, shout out my whole YouTube channel, um, they're gonna be up against every other four-wheeled electric vehicle. How much more different can they make a four-wheeled vehicle? Who knows? But I did wanna make a video real quick about it. Just wanted to talk about the information I had gotten back from Electromechanica. Things aren't changing as far as being a customer with them. I still feel bad for anybody that didn't buy a Solo. As you know, I'm gonna continue making videos. I'm not gonna stop using the Solo for my intended purpose for it, which was to use it as a workhorse. I plan on doing big scrap runs to the scrap yard, running it around to do deliveries around town, and it's just gonna be overall my daily driver still. I know it's one of now 2,000 probably, but I don't care. I'm still gonna drive it the way I wanted to drive it. I am really excited to see um, how successful Electromechanica will end up being. I know that they just had to remove their stock off of the market. I mean, it was named Solo, so I don't, I don't know how surprised we can be. Again, I, I'm extremely excited to see what they're gonna release as far as their four-wheeled competitor. I. I wish and hope that it's micro. I, I just, I love the micro cars. And I know that's kind of a tall wish, but uh, one can hope. And I have faith that Susan will do a good job. She has a, an amazing track record rehabilitating companies that were not doing so hot. Not saying that Electromechanica was a sinking ship, but I don't think it was flourishing to its full potential, but only time will tell. Obviously, I'm surprised that a vehicle I bought about 11 months ago was already discontinued. But I'm not gonna stop being this way with my purchases, I don't think. I mean, like I said, I never even test drove the thing. I just went out and bought it. Um, the first, first test drive I ever did was right after signing over ownership and driving off the lot. And I think that's the best way to do a lot of things in your life. Is it the best way to do all things in your life? No, definitely not. I've already been looking at other ridiculous and reckless purchases. Uh, the Tractor Supply Company has a three-wheeled vehicle that they sell that I've been eyeing. I think it's about $7,900, something around that price point. And it has a range of 90 miles to the charge. I'm, I'm not going to buy it because I don't need that many toys laying around. But that's kind of the thing I've sort of gravitated towards after purchasing the Solo. It was just one of the best experiences of my life so far. And I don't think I can I can turn back from this point. I think I'm gonna have to continue living on this way. There's also a uh, an electric unicycle that one of the commenters put me onto. And I've just been on a deep dive of information on those. 
it, it'll fit perfectly in the back of the solo. I think it'd make it for some great videos. You know what I mean? We go on our road trips like we did up to Sedona, charge up, but now we have the unicycle and we can go further. We can keep ourselves entertained. We can go adventure, maybe do some metal detecting. I've thought about a bunch of stuff. I think it'd be some fun. By the filming of this video, I've already done my 10,000 mile service and I'm just editing that video. I'm the worst YouTuber ever, if you guys haven't already gathered that. I'm trying to orchestrate some sort of meetup with all the other owners. That'd make for, I think, a pretty interesting video. Beyond that, I think the only updates you're gonna see are just my day-to-day -day life, maybe doing some scrap runs, bulk trash pickup, servicing videos on the solo, and I'll probably just move away from trying to be 100% about the solo. Hope that doesn't bother most of you, but I'm sure it will. And I understand that I might lose 75% of you. I appreciate all you guys that have been watching up to this point. Comment, subscribe, share with your friends if you'd like. And uh, stay tuned for Electromechanica and E4. We'll see what happens.